Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Uh, Kato's back here today. Uh, just got back from the hospital. Had him check out the old ticker, make sure everything was uh, going all right. And uh, well, I didn't exactly get a clean bill of health, but uh, what the hell, I'm still alive anyway. Uh, the important thing today is uh, we're going to talk about the Bill of Rights. And uh, the Bill of Rights was something that was penned by our forefathers, you know, 200 plus years ago. And they, they wanted to make sure that everyone who was born into the United States or anyone who lived in the United States had certain inalienable rights. And, uh, and so they penned the Bill of Rights. And so today what I'm going to talk about is the Bill of Rights, okay? So this is called Tyranny USA by Cato Swetham. The Bill of Rights, it was the law of the land. Our forefathers fought for them, passing them on the plan. They were escaping the tyranny, the cruel British crown. They wanted to make sure that they wrote the laws down. The right to exercise your religion freely and with no restraint. The right to a free speech and the press impossible to taint. The right to peaceful, peacefully assemble, petition government for redress of grievances and overstep massive government largesse. A well-regulated militia to secure a free state. To the right to bear arms to protect your estate. Whether peacetime or war, soldiers cannot be quartered in any man's house without that man's order. The right to a person to be secure from illegal search and seizure in his person and house, papers and effects, he may have his leisure. No warrant shall be issued without a probable cause by oath and affirmation of these effects, that's a law. No person shall be held for a capital or infamous crime without a grand jury indictment unless in military or war time. No person shall be charged with the same offense twice or be witness against himself. Gosh, ain't that nice? You can't be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law in the land of the free. They can't take your private property to be used for public use without just compensation that would be considered abuse. A speedy and public trial in all criminal prosecutions by an impartial jury in the district it was committed is institution. To be informed of the nature and cause of such accusation to be confronted with witnesses in this new nation. A compulsory process for obtaining witness in his favor to have assistance of counsel in his legal labor. In common law, in a suit of $20 or more, the right to a trial by jury, this law can't be ignored. Excessive bail shall not be required, nor excessive fines imposed. Cruel or unusual punishment shall not be inflicted, or liberty froze. The list in the Constitution of certain rights shall not be construed to deny or be disparaging of other plights. The powers not delegated to the United States by the Constitution are reserved for the states, for people, or for people's institutions. But... Muslims are being surveilled all over our land, spies infiltrating their mosques, terrorizing them the plan. Many Republican lawmakers confess that Christian faith is their own, forcing it on recru young recruits in boot camp, murdering Muslims condoned. Any group considered subversive by those in the elite will be persons of interest they are support to deplete. Chelsea Manning's in prison for most of the rest of his life for passing on government secrets showing murder was right. Other whistleblowers are being harassed by the tyrannical state, some spending time in prison terrorizing others their fate. Everything coming from the government has now been classified as critically top secret, just more of their lies. So printing the truth might not be the prudent part, government intimidation puts the fear of God in their hearts. They have to think twice, will their resources be compromised, they won't get another story if they fall into spies. A free and open press has become a veritable joke. All American news companies are owned by these elite blokes. They barf out, they regurgitate out the same barf that the other one has, getting their talking points direct from the State Department staff. There's not an honest purveyor of truth, it has become such a joke. They're all compulsive liars up your ass, they blow smoke. They all press for, profess with honor that their integrity is above reproach, while they're really all slimy rats like filthy, dirty cockroach. 
I had a great laugh at John Kerry today. He had the gall to call out RT, that's Russian television's display. He called them propaganda, Putin's personal tool. He must think that we're all just stupid fools. So he bursts out their name on international TV, giving all that didn't know the curiosity to have a look-see. It's pitiful, really. They've all lost their way. They've told so many lies. Who could remember day to day? Between the media lies and those of our leaders, I think they've overcrossed bread. They need to change breeders. You have the right to assemble as long as there's no more than three. You have a, if, you, if it goes above that, you might see yourself live on TV. Tear gas was used to break up the crowd here today. The four of them were out of hand. They refused to obey. A couple were beaten with clubs. Some may sprayed in their face. We sure can't have this kind of shit in the 21st century, mates. The elite have rewritten the laws. Protesting's now a crime. What our forefathers fought and died for, you can now serve time. You have the right to bear arms is under attack since the false flag of 2001. They want your rights back. Every day another atrocity seems to come down the pike. MK Ultra is working. The CIA is programmed death like. The pharmaceutical companies give these kids lots of drugs. Their minds completely blown, creating homicidal thugs. The innocent gun owners are looked as on as criminals who must have, be more regulated or they'll get busted skulls. This is all just a ploy to completely disarm us the plan. Then the elite will take over everything in our land. Our local police are being militarized, heavy armor and all, buying up leftover equipment from Afghanistan's fall. Killing 10 to 15 a day, mostly completely unarmed, mostly pitifully nonviolent. No one was harmed. The FBI hasn't been called on a murder in 10 years. They kill who they want and they get cover from their peers. It's an insidious plan, Homeland Security is a Nazi game, forcing all into submission. It's really quite lame. They're out to enslave us, only one thing holding them back. 3.1 million firearms, Americans ready for an attack. Stop and frisk is totally disgusting and wrong. You can't just grab some someone out of the throng. Yet now police have been granted powers to strip search and more. Nude photos at the airport? What else is in store? We've been hijacked by some perverts who want to feel our ass. They want to strip us buck naked and they have a free pass. From old ladies in airports to embassy staff from afar, drop your drawers and bend over, today you're the star. This is sick and it's perverted. What does our world come to? We're being raped by our leaders over the cuckoo nest they flew. The NSA spying on every move you make. They say it's for security that false flag's so fake. They really just want complete dominance and submission. They want all your information without your permission. They're looking over your shoulder on every street corner. They're following your funeral to record all the mornings. Warm mourners. They'll bust down your door. They'll shoot at your dog. Oops, we got the wrong house. It must have been the fog. They set people up. The FBI's got this down to an art. They pretend that they're terrorists. Hey, would you like to play a part? They lure people who are angry over how they've been treated, then suck them into a crime not knowing they're being untreated. Then using dumb and dummy weapons, they let them hold the switch, little knowing that their lure is really a snitch. We have more people in prison than any other nation. 5% of the world's population, millions on the plantation. Private prison corporations working, these people like slaves, huge dividends for stockholders, it's truly the rage. The elite line their portfolios with these prison stocks, 25 cents an hour for labor, hey, the return on this investment rocks. We have hundreds of men in Guantanamo Bay, they've never been charged, their lives permanently dis de delayed. They're atrociously abused. This is the height of cruelty, abused and tortured, little chance to be free. This is all illegal as we have this is all legal as we have declared war. It's that old war on terror. Who knows what it's for? But it allows our government to subvert all the laws. We're at war, goddammit. On rights, there must be a pause. Here's a scam that they have, it's really quite cool. You get convicted of a crime, they take all from you. We're impounding your car, your home, and your plane. They were all used in your crime, so it's yourself who's to blame. They've abs they, they have scum with your property, it's called eminent domain. A corporation needs this land for some scheme that's lame brain. They bought all the judges, there's only one way to get a seat. You got to be one of them, yeah, one of the elite. They bend and twist the law just to, just to enrich themselves. They search all your past 
into your family they delve. They dumb assault, they, they drum up false witness to add to your strife, then they lock you away behind bars to serve life. A million dollars bail has become common these days. He's a danger to society. He might run away. The federal government has usurped the laws of the states, bringing terror to bear. They win all debates. So, it's just clear, my friends, we're going the wrong way because of the false flag terror they instilled on 9-11 day. They've turned us all into sissies, scared out of our rights. What happened to the American spirit to stand up and fight? We're letting a very small elite steal our democracy and liberty. They're gaming us against each other when we're all following eagerly. They've moved trillions of dollars from our hands to theirs. They're instilling us with terror, playing to our fears. They're rewriting all the laws, giving them power over all, turning us all into slaves, teaching us how to crawl. They, not, they now have us growling for a meager take-home pay. They block us into protest zones so they can't hear what we say. They regularly meet around the world to plan the further destruction of modern man. They're 100% joined together, so we'll never again be free. We're being consumed by the USA tyranny.